had joined me here at the Shalimar in Queens. You know it's been nine years, three months, and two days since the last time we were here together. Take a look around. Familiar? Yes, it hasn't really changed much in all these years. And scan the menu. Pretty much the same, too. You remember what you had to eat here the last time all those years ago? No? I do. Something quite unusual. No? No, guess again. No, no. Turn to page four of the menu. You see it? I'll have to tell you. The stuffed mushrooms. <laughs> Think you'll order them again today? Oh, no. Well, you'd better decide quickly. We only have an hour to eat. The theater waits for no one. Good, you've decided. I'll call our waitress. Susie. Susie. Thanks for being so prompt. My friend Roger here will have the Yankee pot roast with the lockers. Roger, lockers are potato pancakes. And Susie, I'll have the, um, let me ask you a question first. The last time I was here, I had the ribeye roast and it was a little underdone. <laughs> you think you can cook it a little bit better? Excellent. No, the coffee later. And Rosie, if you could please hurry with the food. We have a day to go to the theater. So, you know, I always ask Susie to serve me. She's so cooperative, Roger. You know, the waiters here can be so unfriendly. I you know, have you noticed that waiter over there smiling to the people at his table? Not bad looking, is he? Oh, but take another look around, will you, Roger? What do you notice? Yes, so many empty tables, and for a Saturday night. Do you know why? It's because there are a few of us American Jews here. So many of us have moved away. And you know who's taken our places? Those vulgar Russian Jews. I said vulgar, not vulgar. <laughs> well, and they have a way different menu than we're used to, but thank God, thank God they haven't changed the menu here at the shower bar. It's still very much the same. Although I do admit, the quality is not what it used to be when the restaurant was packed years ago. Ah, times are hard now. But I still love the potato latkes, and so will you. Oh, 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 there's Sai, the owner of the restaurant. Wait, wait to Sai, Roger. I told him you were going to be here today. Look, look, he recognizes you. Wave, wave, wave. Well, there is one item on the menu that hasn't produced the quality at all, Roger. You know what that is? The desserts. When we pass the dessert tray on the way in, did you happen to take a look at them? You did. And you know what you're going to order? The Russian babka? Oh no! <laughs> no, don't do that. Didn't you see the German black forest cake out there? So creamy. That would be a better choice, don't you think? No? No? Suit yourself. Oh, look at the time. Not much left. I'd better get Susie to put a rush on our food. Oh, wait, where would you? Oh, Miss Susie, please. What's that, Roger? The washroom? The washroom? Yes, yes. It's in the back, down the aisle, past the dessert tray. You, you might want to take another look at that, Roger. You know that German black forest cake.